Welcome back to Waterland. So, Castle. Wait, 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 wait. Wario. You said Wario. Wa I said Waterland, actually. <laughs> it sounded like you said Wario Land. So, yeah, 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 we're already ready to toast. Uh, he's turned into a plat a, 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 a platypus. I'm sorry, a kappa. A, yeah, a kappa. Yeah, a uh, kappa. Yeah, it looks a bit like Toad a kappa. What kind of you speak of? I love how the um, I love how Toad Sprite makes it look like he's shouting, but the text box just has it sound like he's talking normally. Yeah, uh, well, so he does have the exclamation you, point. You know something we forgot to mention. The Waterworld theme song is basically the the Zelda song that they use for the title themes. Yep. <laughs> uh, wait, are you talking about the movie Waterworld? What? Uh, okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure that you talk talk about the the theme of Waterland from this game. Yes. Yes. So why did you say Waterworld? Then? Because it's a because you know like how I say World One World. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Yeah, you have to understand, know, like, it uh... It is kind of weird that they didn't just call this Waterworld, since it is a world, so why did they call it Waterland? It's like a Balan Wonder World, which should have been called Balan Wonder it's... Land instead. They call it Land because it's, I guess, it's... A, because remember, this entire thing is supposed to be... Mushroom hey. World... You know, because remember, the idea... Well, I think you're I... wish, Pedro. You, you did mention video more of on the Koopa thing, so... More on the Koopa link. Actually, no, I'll talk about the the, the enemy uh, lineup because um, they actually don't, I don't think they have a section s describing each individual Koopa link, actually. Let me see. Uh, no, they don't. Oh, so anyone uh, ever find it weird that Wendy is one of the few Koopa links who actually doesn't have hair? Yeah, true. Um, where was it? Yeah. Okay, so that's the thing. Um... Remember, Joe, but this entire game takes place in Mushroom World, so it wouldn't make much sense to have Water World inside Mushroom World, which is why they call it Land. Are you saying that the Mushroom Kingdom is part of the Mushroom World? Oh, look! Uh, Mario clone is the king, apparently. Look, he has oh, the same yeah. place as Mario. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess, my dear brother. Greetings. I the white block the... contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. I have enclosed the jewel that helps protect you, and by jewel she means a music box. You know, it's funny, honestly, that that king looks like Mario, since some people did speculate that Mario and Luigi do have a third, more normal brother. Maybe, uh, maybe he's Mario's and Luigi's dad or something. Anyway, like t like Teo said, there's a the character section in the, man in the original NES manual that talks about enemies above ground, like Paragoomba, Micro Goombas, which are the little Goombas of Four Blocks you'll see later. Uh, we also have. Uh... We actually did see the micro goombas, which the oh, we? goombas okay. seem to chuck at you. Anyway, right now we're in Giant Land. I want. I wonder why it's called. I I wonder why oh it does have that name. A moment where Pedro doesn't have. Oh my God! A quick moment where Pedro didn't have the cheats on. Uh, yes, too. Uh, I guess if I calculate, this will be re revisited in some kind of fashion as a concept. In my yes. Before. Uh, well, not well. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, the the tiny, the, like uh, the 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 tiny big land from sixty four is kind of like that too. Yeah, I will argue that uh, Galaxy Two was probably the one that truly completely brought us back because it's like the the world in Galaxy Two um, uh, is clearly a direct lift from this. Clearly, I mean, I don't see why sixty four wouldn't count in that regard. Like, oh, it counts. Bigger enemies, Grant. It counts, it's just that um, it doesn't have like super big blocks um, alongside them, so... Um, how was I going with this? Uh, yeah, the characters. Um, there's also a fire snake, a moving chain of fireballs that can pass through many things to get to it. There's chain chomp, I already know what chain chomp is. Um, there's fire chomp, which is a chain chomp that has fire for a chain and also spits fire. Uh, of course we have bloober with kids. It says here. So basically it's yeah, a bloober yeah, followed by little bloobers. Gelectro, cheap cheap of course. Lava Lotus, oh yeah, remember that flower I found underwater earlier? It's a Lava Lotus. Okay. Um, anyway, those uh, other enemies that were throwing spike balls with a shell, those are called Spike. There's the ba -bum, as Ennis Hopper calls it. Um, Rocky Wrench, ha ha. Uh, the Flumps, like I said. 
Also, um, those little um, silver discs that were sp they're spin sometimes, they're roto discs. <laughs> and there's also, and boos for some reason are called boo diddly. See, the thing is, in, in, in the description it just says, boo is too shy to look anyone in the face. But when you turn around, however, yeah, so the description just calls him boo, but the actual name says, boo in quotations, followed by diddly. And diddly is the real name? I don't know. Uh, did something catch you off guard there, Dwoods? Uh, the term uh, Diddly. It, it is well, was Diddly the name well. of your arch enemy? Uh, no, no. In, in, in some cases, around here, Diddly can be uh, referred to as um, down below. Maybe the. Hey, maybe... I thought you were going to say Diddly Squat. Maybe the Mario Advance 4 manual uh, corrects this. Well, wait, 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 oh my god. It depends on the context. Oh my god, it's funny because usually it's Teal's language that has euphemisms for that body part. Well, the way I was saying my country, Drama Vet basically said that every the word is the same country when you really get down to it. It, so what you're saying? Which is to say that despite everything, we have a lot of things in common when you don't know. Yeah. So what you're saying, Dwibs, is that we should send Burped. moves in that regard if they really are diddlies. Okay, so we also have dry bones, of course. Uh, we also have stretch, which is that little platform with ghosts in it. Then we have, of course, boom boom, like like Deji said. This is the boss that controls the mini fortresses. Boom boom hurls himself at Mario with his arms swinging. Mario needs to jump on boom boom three times to defeat him. Be careful, though. Boom boom gets quicker every time he gets jumped on. We also have the piranha plants, find Venus, fire trap, walking piranhas, munchers. Yeah. Oh, and and here's um, Ludwig van Koopa saying, "Quite an exciting game, isn't it? I'm glad to know that we have such powerful enemies helping us out. We have more guys helping us besides these." But don't tell Mario. <laughs> Wait a minute! I just realized something. Go on. So diddlies are that part known in the UK. And they get shy and retract when you look at them. Sure. Oh my god. Sure. Um, there's also a little bit uh, from the Mario staff. It says here, two Mario's players. <clears throat> Thanks for selecting Super Mario Bros. 3. We've been working hard to make this game even better than Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2. In addition to the action scenes, action scenes, we've added a world map <laughs> on which you can plot your progress as well as play a new two-player game. In Super Mario Bros. 3, you will find many more hidden things than in the first two games in the series. We think that you will find it much more challenging as well. Have fun. Yours truly, Mario staff. Okay, and once again, Jova, just like in the um, TMNT manuals we've been reading, here it is again. Warning, do not use with front or rear projection TV. Basically, Teo, um, NES manuals always have this page at the end talking about how using um, NES with rear projection TVs destroys the TV. Uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's uh, but Teo, it says here your projection television screen may be permanently damaged yeah, if video you games are stationary. Here is the developer mentioning this. <laughs> well, okay, 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 okay. The thought does occur though. Why did they mention that though? Like, I have to wonder, did it actually happen? And that's why they warn about it? I don't know, Jova. I can tell you it never happened. I never had any issues with NES breaking things when I was a kid. I can tell you that. Like, I'm gonna take things that never happen for 500, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the thing, though. Like, why even bother warning against it, then? I, I think they were. I think. This, this is just me. I think people are really stupid. Yeah. There, that's also a possibility. Uh, but guess what, too? This is something that you'll probably also like. Since you're not in our TMNT runs, I think you'll have a ball uh, with what it also says. Because the TMNT manuals also say this, too. Compliance with FCC regulations. This equipment... Uh, as, uh, by that they mean the cartridge. This equipment generates and uses radio frequency energy. And if not... Uh, it yes. <laughs> I think you read it to me once, but still, um. it's so... No, it doesn't generate check sheet. Uh, it's radioactive. <laughs> that okay. be good. <laughs> this is the same thing. That is uh, what uh, the thing that also rolls eventually in MGS2. You, you, you'll burn your eyes by standing too close to the TV. No, it's a myth, actually. Like, 
Um, it, it, true, it was a general potential belief that people were worried about back in the day, but no, nowadays it has been proven that it doesn't really, that it, if your rice gets ruined, it's not for standing too close to a TV yeah. potential. Uh, when it comes to the TVs, what's option I can tell you that I never, because I, I used to, I did play with it's CRT TVs with Antenna. No, I got the... Yeah, so this is in the, 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 the CMN yeah, team has even mentioned that the cartridge has quote unquote complex circuitry. Um, sure. But okay, uh, okay, that I can kind of believe since oh, yeah. the, the circuitry involved inside the cartridge and whatnot, that's fair and fine. Sure. Okay, I just wonder about all this other stuff though, like. Was this stuff that they actually believed was the case, or did, like, they have a freak accident at some point, and that's why they warned against I it? guess, I guess they, I guess this was, like, brand new technology, so they weren't entirely sure of what, what could happen. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, basically, Teo, it, it's okay, Teo, because if for whatever reason your NES messes with your TV signal, you, we have three different measures. You can reorient the receiving antenna, you can relocate the NES to, with respect to the receiver, move the NES away from the receiver, or plug the NES into a different outlet so that the control deck and receiver are on different circuits. There you go. Sure, and I'm sure I can defeat Psycho Mantis by doing that. Uh, sure. Yes, of course you can. Um... Can you be? Okay. Um, there's also a, a page about the 90 day limited warranty Nintendo game packs. Oh, so now it's a game pack? Just a moment ago, it was, an equi it was equipment. Like, um, Nintendo of America wants to the original consumer purchaser of this Nintendo game pack, uh, 90 days guarantee, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we ha you have 90 days. I can imagine someone bringing back the guarantee and saying, hey, your cartridge broke my TV. Like,. <laughs> That would be fun. Anyway, um, let's see if the um, if the uh, if the Game Boy Advance versions manual uh, corrected that thing with the, with Boo. Let's see, where is it? You know, it's interesting. While a lot of themes would come back from Mario Brothers Three, one thing I notice is like, well, outside of stuff like obviously Super Mario Brothers Maker. Uh, the overworld and water themes never really came back from free. Mm hmm Other themes did, but surprisingly not much. Now, okay, speaking of themes that I wish came back, I really wish that the overworld theme from Super Mario Land 1 came back. Mm hmm It's a really good one. Da -da 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 yeah, Tataka. I, like, I, like, yeah. I, I, I want some tracks from Super Mario Land 2 back, because I love that fucking soundtrack so much. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, the, it's, the, it's, it's just the, the Totaka theme played over and over and over, but the Totaka theme is so good, though. <laughs> and I guess they did at least give variations of it. Yeah, kind of yeah. like what you would see in a musical. I mean, like we said in the commentary for that game, I, uh, I, I love to talk a theme, but at the same time, man, like an entire game of just nothing but that theme. Jesus. But, uh... Um, you, you ever think about how Wario Land music gets barely represented? And, like, the only Mario spinoff to use it was the first tennis game on N64. See, the thing, I, the, the, see, the thing about Wario Land... I mean, kind of does get it. Like, Wario Land music is... Well, okay. The classic ones, specifically. Later ones, admittedly, did get more complex, but the soundtracks in Wario Land games are a bit harder to place, which I'm guessing is the reason why they haven't really gotten remixes. Hey, uh, hey Vader. Yes, yeah, let's... I wonder how you mentioned the, um... The Totaka theme, since my favorite soundtrack of his doesn't have that theme in it at all. Mm. Um, that's the thing, uh, Dej. Um, we, we, we sports. Yeah, true. Um, that's the thing, Dej. Um, unlike Koji Kondo's compositions, while the Wildland series never really had like a consistent furrow theme to it. Like they don't. They, there's no. There's a. There's a. Of course, when people think Mario, they think da 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 da. -da. Uh, but when people think Wario Land, Wario doesn't really have a theme of his own, like an actual proper musical track that actually. Oh, that's Mo that's Wario's theme. Like, Let me put it like this: I like its soundtrack enough for the levels, but the thing is, it kind of runs on that kind of soundtrack where they're good for the levels, 
But anything else, uh, I cannot really recognize, remember, or like the, the closest, though. sadly, when it comes to wa uh, Wario music, things that is recurring and uh, uh, more memorable is actually speaking from Wario. Yeah. Wario, but that's not associated with Wario. I, I, well, I, I, I can well, remember the Wario <laughs> Master of Disguise soundtrack, which is incredibly great. But again, they're that's shaking. A way later game. I actually really like the. Um... The overworld, the like the um, the athletic. I think it's athletic, or if it's the, the athletic theme of uh, Wildland One. That 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 could work. But they they all, they did a remix. Uh, you ever played Wario World? Yes. The, Unfortunately, the first level of Greenhorn Forest. They remixed that for the de for de the DDR game. Yeah, they did. All right, so basically, uh, I, I try. Uh, basically, the, the my code glitched, but that's okay, guys. Don't worry. Uh, let's uh, let's Shame pilot this glitch. So much, it's breaking. Fuck. Hey, there dude, you go. I, I have a genuine question to ask. <laughs> go on. No disrespect or anything, but I need to know: Are you good at video games? Uh, I'm okay at video games. I will say. From what, uh, from what Peter has been telling me, Vanessa is apparently the better one. Yeah, Vanessa. Vanessa's better at video games than me. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Jova, Jova, don't you yes. see? That glitch Mario had in his hands, the, the amount of cheating that he did, the glitch appeared in his hands and it was so heavy and he couldn't let go of it that he fell to his death. You know what's the interesting so what thing? What you're saying is that his sins were weighing him down. Uh, the, the, see, yeah. the see, the thing is that I'm good at certain video games, like specific ones. Like, my skills as a, as a game, in game video games, are very specific, relate to very specific games. Like, for example, when I was a little kid, here's a little story. When I was a little kid, Dej, my friends could not, for the life of them, bypass Sandopolis Act 2. And I was the one who had to, to. What are you talking about? That sounds easy. So I, I came to my friend's house and I just passed that thing. So when it came to classic Sonic, I always had was had, was much better than my friends. But when it comes to other things, uh, it again it depends on the game. Like uh, my skills basically depend on the game that I'm playing. Like for like for example, like with Souls, like I when I'm playing a front software game, I always have Vanessa by my side to help me. Um, because she's For much better. I thought you were gonna say that you often have Tio side with you because nah, of kind of the souls. No, nah, no, nah, I don't need. I have Vanessa. I don't need to. Um, if, if I play a, if I play a Souls game, I'll just have that picture of Tio that says "Get Good." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you know, uh, he's right though. This harkens back to our very, very old commentary of Sonic Pocket Adventure. Wherein he had trouble with that one boss, so then for an extra part, I stepped in, recorded some of my own footage, and showed him how it was done, essentially. Mm hmm. Of course, uh, the what's actual. The, what, what's the best game you're good at, if you don't mind me asking? Uh. Oh, no, Pedro. Uh, I guess puzzle games, like, like Layton? Yeah. I'm very. Uh, I'm. I'm usually better at uh, games uh, that uh, f f that are uh, that just uh, that require challenge from the brain rather than uh, reflexes. If that helps you. All right. So Ooh. can you do Puyo Puyo? Uh, yes. Well, we already did. The we did Puyo Puyo Puyo. I also did Puzzle League, Pokemon Puzzle League. So. Oh wait, hold on. Remind me. Were you using cheats with the Puyo Puyo game as well? No. No. Well, no. I I did. I, well, well, tell you. Tell, let, let me. I think you did for Mean Bean Machine. No, 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 no. You got that reversed too. Like I did. I did Mean Bean Machine fairly, but for the sake of um, just moving through the story of Puyo Puyo, I bypass all the things with cheats. Uh, but I, did, I remember did, because my complaints were that we skipped out on the Satan boss, right, which has that awesome theme tune, but true. it skipped. True, true, true. But it was mostly for the purpose because I wanted to mostly showcase... Um, because the part by itself was already 40 odd minutes, so I didn't want to basically just play the, the game twice, you know? I was trying to keep that the Puyo Puyo section of that raw uh, to just the different stuff, because the gameplay itself is the same, so... Um. Yeah, basically. Well, at least we'll be able to listen to that theme when Sonic. Mania. Yeah, but but yeah, basically that. Uh, if it helps you, no, I'm I'm very good at Puyo Puyo. If that helps you. Hmm. You might like Puzzle League. Uh, yeah, so I like oh, it so much that I've recorded sorry, it. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I meant Puzzle Battle. Puzzle Battle. Oh, the game about color one. Yeah, I play that one too. And also Puzzle Fighter. Uh, is that the Street Fighter one? 
No, More like it's, Capcom, a Cap Gen it's a Capcom, Capcom crossover game, fighter. Basically, it's a puzzle game that incorporates some fighting game elements. Uh, like, here's another game that, um, if I remember correctly, I think Dwebs also plays this one, Dr. Kawashima's Brain Training. I also like that one. Um, ah, yes. Brain Age. Yeah, Brain Age 2. Like, well, Basically, see, where Nintendo did the big brain mood of actually getting kids to like learning. See, the I feel like they should make a new one. See, the great well, thing like, about... I know people get annoyed with, with Nintendo cater to casuals, but like... If that's... anything, it's, it's, perfect, it's perfectly suited for the mobile market. Nintendo should actually try to capitalize on that. Because my, my aunt, who was a, a gamer, she bought a DS just to play Brain Age. Like, again, that is the smart thing about Brain Age, and like, well, it makes learning fun, like... I know some people may scuff at it, but I assure you, if you make learning fun in, a, in you know, that manner, more people would definitely get on board with it. There's also the fact that... Heard of... uh, sorry, sorry, yeah. go on. No, no, go I've on. actually heard of some organizations that do try to incorporate, you know, video games into the learning process. There's also the fat edge that as I get older, my patience for older for older games with these kinds of design choices is getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> Understandable. Like, uh, like for like for example, like um, I'll play Ghost of Tsushima in hard mode just fine. Like, uh, but when it comes to playing these older games, they have so many, like, they are so much more high in terms of their challenge, and they also have some outdated design choices, just based on the fact that they're parts of their time, obviously. Um, my patience, uh, as I get older, of course, gets shorter and shorter. I would argue that this game did not need to be cheated. Like, okay, Super Mario Brothers 2, The Lost Levels, uh, I'll give you that one. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that, there's also the, there's also the fact, Joe, but there's also some amount of laziness, Joe, because if I if I was playing uh, fairly, I would be cutting out so many deaths. Um, there would be so much more editing involved in putting this playthrough together, you know. So I basically do the same thing I do the Kawamura Collection, where I give myself some cheats to make the pro the recording process much more streamlined, basically. Well, uh, the Kawabunga Collection I'm more okay with because those are more or less features that the game Okay, gives, outside yeah. of that, if I was a sewer level, which I keep hearing about, and I think the AVGN talked about it with the seaweed and everything, what other parts of the TMNT and NES games have been, you know, unfair? How about the whole game? Like, um... <laughs> no, see, yeah, no, 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 no. All right. No, no, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. He was asking about the series as a whole. Oh, the series as a whole. No, was that the series as a whole? Or was there the first game too? Oh, in general. Oh, that. No, no, no. Just the the first game is the only one that's bad. All the other ones are good. Like the the, the first NES game specifically, because even the Game Boy, even the first two Game Boy games are decent for what they are. Um, I don't know. I will say this. Said, uh, why? The way after that, after the, the Genesis game, the Hyperstone Heist, they kind of just stopped. They had tournament fighters for the Super Nintendo, but no actual beat them up. Well, you have to understand, Teo, that um, you have to understand, Teo, that by that point, the Turtles Mania was dying down really bad. Yeah, but that explains why. Um, the, okay, okay. As far as I know, there were no PS One Turtles games. No. No, there weren't. That's because uh, yeah, by the time that's because by the time we got to the early to mid '90s, the Turtles franchise kind of went into hibernation. Basically, I think the comics still kept going, if I remember correctly. But and then, of course, that was the next uh, mutation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The ne like, like, know, nothing, honestly. nothing like a show like the next mutation to temporarily kill a franchise, just like with Batman and Robin. <laughs> You know, honestly, well, I for to all really watch the Fatal's retrospective of that and being behind all that. You know, for all the weird things TMNT did, I kind of find it surprising that they never tried a collaboration with Mario. Like, yeah, hello, yeah. or or hello. Sonic, like IDW, right there. Come on. Also, Archie beforehand, uh, they they were yeah. on that. Uh. Yeah, which which was weird. It's like guys, it was right there. But, okay, I mean, like, it's weird that they have never collaborated with Mario. He's a literal plumber who goes down pipes and whatnot. If and, it helps you... you know, sorry. I'd, I'd, and I'd say that during the NES craze, there was definitely a lot of good choice. Like, 
Hell, let's not forget, during The Wizard, they are heavily prominent in that movie, aside from the Mario games. Doesn't, doesn't take much intelligence to play that game, does it? <laughs> you know, uh, but, like, every yeah. time that moment comes up, I'm like, Dad, you've never actually played this game, have you? Like... Forget if the son had, like, a quote in regards no, no, to that. No, no, that no, 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 remember, remember, the game he's referring to that with that quote is the, the original NES TMNT game. That game is bullshit. Like, what do you mean it doesn't take a lot of thought? That game is fucking... Is that also the one with the uh, potentially un... Uh, you know, un... un the, the, the gap where it's impossible to jump over? Ah, oh, but let me explain this one too. When you're as Raccoon Mario, you can do this move by pressing down B. See? Tanuki Mario, actually. Tanuki Mario. Well, but, well, okay, if this is Tanuki Mario, then what's the other suit uh, called? Raccoon then? Mario. Oh, oh, so right. it's, oh, so it's reverse? I've, I've, always, I've always called it differently, because it makes... To me, it makes a lot more sense for this to be Raccoon Mario. But whatever. Um, you see, if the Tanuki suit had tried testicles, like the titular <laughs> Yokai would be easier to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Um... Oh, when I saw Pom Poker with um, with Pedro, they they had the, the testicles showing on them was a bit um. Well, the, the, what, yay. I, I, again, you have to understand that Japan uh, has a different culture. But Japan is, doesn't have like Japanese audiences don't immediately g g get antsy just because they see genitals on screen. They, they just, see, I mean, to them it's just part of the human body. Whatever, as long as it's not sexualized, they're okay with it. You know. Especially maybe choose for you more more it, it, it's it's a culture thing like really like in Japan people are okay with seeing boobs or balls on like as long as it's not sexual like whatever it's just part of the human body who cares um, see, sometimes they seem to be okay with it even if it is sexual but I digress well that depends on honestly, the on what kind of anime it is but sure that being said no 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 I mean honestly we should strive to not just be afraid of you know. Oh, if cleavage or boobs are showing, essentially. Now, granted, a dick being shown? That's, uh... That is a little bit more testy, seeing as how... Mm, I'm gonna have to dis... I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, Joe, for like, if we're gonna show this it stuff, we should... Yeah, if we're going to show this stuff, show everything equally. Uh, it kind of reminds me, just to remain also the topic of video games, or just to back in, we can segue into this. Uh, kind of reminds me of very first God of War. Um, I will be sure to showcase it uh, when I eventually record it. Uh, one of the extras that you can unlock is a model viewer gallery with a developer's commentary with it. I don't yeah. know if it was David Jeff that mentioned it, uh, because I think it's mentioned who, who the quote mentioned, who the quote says, but... Uh, um, one of the developers mentioned that at some point the Cyclops enemy were supposed to actually fo showcase full nudity, including having a penis, but uh, someone from the higher ups, potentially Sony, told them they could not do it, and they were kind of feel sorry for that. To their credit, uh, to, okay, okay, okay. to their credit, it was okay. the first game. It was still an unproven franchise, so I can understand on the first game at least. God of War. God of War, the very first anyway, game. Anyway, yeah, I should so reiterate, the, the kind of stuff I was talking about where we were showing dicks would be testy is more so kids' media. Oh, well, like, yeah. Otherwise, you know, like, well, if it's with an older audience in mind, sure, yes, by all means, be equal on that stuff. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Like, uh, Pump Poker was aimed specifically uh, at a, uh, more like adults because the movie has, is, has a lot of um, uh, political commentary. Uh, so that movie was clearly not made for children, I can tell you that. <laughs> That said, how weird is it that nowadays Nintendo are the guys who are more willing to show yeah, yeah. some risque stuff? Where are so the other ones and such? Um, where are we? In the meantime, Cloudland. I, in the meantime, for whatever reason, unlike the previous games, the Game Boy Advance version manual does not have an enemy section. How oh. weird! I, 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 I'm looking at it right now. It doesn't have one. Enemies do not deserve recognition in this war. Huh. <laughs> I, I, th I think this is actually one of those rare cases where the NES original manual is actually better, because yeah, this GBA manual is very small in content compared to the previous ones. Weird. Also, um, you're not gonna get inside the shoe. Uh, I tried, but I failed. I think there, it's sorry. called something sock rather than just a shoe. Goom like... Goomba shoe. Goomba shoe. Too. No, no, no. Oh, Goomba, Goomba shoe. shoe. I yeah. must be confused with one of our RPGs, man. No, yeah, that's, uh... The RPGs are uh, are a whole different ballpark. Um... Oh, that'll be interesting when we tackle those. 
Mm -hmm. Like I, I have a, I have a special modded version of a thousand year door that uh, reworks the translation to keep all the original Japanese intent because the localization of that game, while not terrible or anything, did make some changes to hide the fact. For yeah, example, they, you, you probably guys are very familiar with the fact that they changed that one character's nature. You know what? I, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, from what I checked, the, both Japanese and he said the multi-five European languages actually instead are, you know, consistent with that, but it's only apparently the English translation that applied Wolseyism. Mm -hmm. Can't let the kids... I'm not, Go I'm, on. Not, I'm, not, I'm not against um, Wolseyism if it's used uh, correctly, like for example that recent controversy with... Um, with um, Fire Emblem Aqua Fresh, yes. Yeah, so. With Fire Emblem um, uh, Engage, um, where um, where the original Japanese trans, where for someone translating a Japanese copy, there was a scene in it which um, kind of implied that um, a 17-year-old was having a romantic relationship with an 11-year-old. Yeah. Um, wow, that is awkward. Even by Japanese standards, because the age of consent is 13. Yep. So, it's, so instead, uh, what the English translation did was that they just have a, was that they just have the two go into a um, go go into a um, friendship slash financial partnership. All right, let's see. If, uh, okay, I think I'm, if if I remember correctly, this is the bit where I try to just skip the entire level by just flying. Uh, there you go. Okay, and I'm assuming this world is called Cloudland. Skyland. Ah, Skyland. Hmm, Skyland. Skyland. All right, for skipping levels. I wonder, if we, I wonder if we could make a game series off of Skylands. Da 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 da. Um. It it lasts for a few years. Um. Same pad wouldn't last more than a decade, though, I think. We just have to remember not to oversaturate the market with it, and we should be A-OK. -okay. And Indeed. hope that, uh, and hope that competitors, um, don't muck things up anymore. See ya. <laughs> See you for the Wait. next part. See ya. See ya.